This video will teach you the basics about the personal power plate, and it'll also give you some new exercises to try. Power plate is a patented technology that uses whole body vibration. Vibration training stimulates the contraction of the muscles, making your body work harder as you exercise, which gives you greater results. When first beginning on the personal power plate, like any other exercise routine, please consult your doctor first before starting. And always stay hydrated. It's essential to drink plenty of water before, during, and after exercising on the personal power plate. Also, be sure to keep your knees bent when you're on the platform during exercise. As with any exercise, start with moderation and work your way up, and then build slowly. Don't overdo it, the personal power plate offers an intense workout. When you begin using the personal power plate, exercise just two to three times per week for about 15 to 20 minutes per session. Your rest time in between should be two times the length of the exercise duration. For example, if you exercise for 30 seconds, rest for 60 seconds. Once you're well trained, you can increase your time. Power Plate and the Personal Power Plate have been linked to a wide range of health and wellness benefits from strength, balance, flexibility, and weight loss to improved circulation, pain reduction, detoxification, stress alleviation, and even the reduction of the appearance of cellulite. By using the power plate or personal power plate, it'll help you achieve faster recovery. A lack of recovery and regeneration often hinders us from achieving our full potential. Exercise is stress and the body needs time to rebuild positively to adapt to training. Massage on a power plate or personal power plate stimulates lymphatic flush, eases pains, promotes faster recovery of damaged muscles and tendons, improves joint function, and helps you return stronger from a hard day of training in only a few minutes. For more information, go to healthylivingwithlisavarga.com. Okay, let's get started with the personal power plate. I'm just gonna run you through exactly how it works and everything that comes with it. Uh, first of all, this is the plate itself. Um, it's got a platform here for when you're doing any kind of footwork that's got a little bit of a rough surface to it. This is more for if you're doing any hand exercises, push-ups, anything with your hands on the plate. Uh, you will also notice that it has a start and stop button. It also has a repeat button. It's got 30 seconds or 60 seconds. Those are your only two options. Uh, and it also has a, a low and a high, uh, and that's for the vibration that you're using. Now, you can do it here manually, or it also comes with this remote control. So when you're standing on the plate or you're doing any other exercises, you can actually keep it in your hand and work with it that way, or touch it with your toe, or do it manually with your hand. So you can have the option of the remote control or manual. And next, it comes with these straps. Now what these do, it's great for arm exercises, curls, I'll show you in just a second exactly how it works, but it has Velcro on one of the sides. And you're going to go ahead and take this and insert it, there's a little bar on the side here. And you're gonna adjust it to your body height. So you wanna get on your plate and adjust it right to about where you can do a curl. And then you're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side with this other strap. Just loop it through and again Velcro is on this side. Match it up to your correct height and then you are ready to start doing some curls. I like to keep mine on 30 seconds on high. Uh, you can choose whichever one you want. You have 30 or 60 seconds, or you could do high or low. And then you begin. So basically, it's almost as if you're trying to pull these out of the ground. And you're gonna go ahead and do your curls like this. And again, this is a 30 second exercise. You can do yours for 60 if you like. Now you can also do a couple other exercises too. I particularly like this one. Uh, you keep these for balance and you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna do some kickbacks. These are great for glutes. You can also kick to the side to get different muscles. And then you're gonna switch. And when you're doing this, you can see that your whole entire body is engaged in the exercise. A great way to start on the personal power plate is just simple warm-ups by doing squats. 
So what we're going to do is just you're going to keep your feet at shoulder width apart and you're just going to start to do just a couple squats to warm up. I'm doing mine on 30 seconds on low because this is just to get your blood circulating, get everything moving and you're getting ready to prepare your body for a really great workout. Now you can change the stance in your feet. You can go a little bit wider, left foot forward. And then you're gonna switch right foot forward. and back to neutral. The personal power plate is really great for planks and also push-ups. You can do different variations and you can also modify all of your exercises as well. A plank, uh, I basically will start mine off on a 30 second setting. Again, you can have 30 or 60 seconds. Uh, and then I like to do mine on high for the planks. You can put yours on low if you like. I'm here with Steve. He's the owner of Rockstar Health and Fitness and he is gonna help us through some exercises today. We're gonna talk a little bit about um, what do you do with the power plate in your gym? What are some of the exercises you do or your different trainers do? Many, and kind of like you had mentioned before, uh, the power plate just intensifies what you do so we can get a better result in a shorter amount of time, which is my whole philosophy behind all of my training. I don't like to waste anybody's time. And the power plate is just one of the cool ways to not waste your time no matter what you're doing on it. Uh, one of the exciting things that we do here and that's becoming more and more popular is called functional fitness. And compared to where we're working just like muscles, some people are concerned about their bones, we're really talking about your nervous system uh, when we talk about functional training. And that's the beauty of the power plate. It can, what we call, zap your nervous system and we get what would sometimes take two, three, four weeks to get done. We can get done in maybe a couple days or a single session even because we're really targeting that nervous system in a way that's not possible, say, with a body weight or some other form of weight that you see around the facility. Why don't you go ahead and demonstrate maybe uh, one of the exercises that you do and then we can kind of talk through it and uh, you guys can follow and get some tips of what you can do with your personal power plate. First one we'll do is just a regular push-up. And that's going straight up, straight down. Now I know Steve has his on 30 seconds on high. You guys can either do 30 seconds or 60 seconds high or low. You know how nobody likes their plank, Lisa? Yes. <laughs> but we've all got tight hips and we all have a bad back. I got the perfect exercise for it. Uh, this is called a warrior lunge and the setup is a plank. You just don't tell anybody about that. Uh, the setup is a plank and the whole vibration is going so we're activating the core the entire time which is the beauty of the power plate. Uh, you're going to kick a foot right next up to the bench and as you do that you let your hips sag down and you open up real big. So then we're activating your glute, your hamstring, then we're going to go back to this core here, activating the core, we'll go the opposite, glute, hamstring open up real big. So we're getting a little bit of stability and strength in our plank. And then you're getting a deep stretch, nice stride uh, here. It's also gonna feel great, uh, great release on your low back, especially if you can settle into the power plate and let that vibration do some of the work for you. That's great. You guys go ahead and give this a try. You're gonna love this one. And as uh, Steve was saying, it really is engaging your whole entire body. Every muscle in your body is contracting as you're on the personal power plate. So you're just getting much more of an intense workout and you're getting better results that you're gonna see immediately. Earlier I talked about doing squats on the personal power plate, but we're gonna learn how to do a split squat the proper way. Yeah, the split squat's beautiful. Uh, what I would start is uh, both feet here. This is hard enough just without the power plate, but like we talked about, we get some added intensity with the power plate. So you're gonna start with both feet on. You need a bench behind you. That's gonna help hook the back leg. What we're gonna do, the, the benefit of this is we're stretching this back leg. At the same time, we're strengthening this lead leg. 
Uh, for adults who sit and we're always in that same position all day, a split squat's gonna be a better choice than a two-legged squat. This is gonna help open you up rather than close you off. Um, some people, if you wanna stretch, you can just sit down here in the bottom. You might need something to help hold you upright and you can just open up in the stretch. If you're going for a strength, you can try to just up, down, control that range of motion. Some people are gonna struggle with their balance here on the power plate at first, but phenomenal exercise, not just for your core, but also for your hips. The personal power plate can be utilized for so many different kinds of exercises. Yoga is one of them. You wouldn't think that, but actually, I don't do a lot of yoga, but if you can kind of walk me through how we can utilize the personal power plate in doing different yoga poses. First thing we're gonna do is just try a traditional bird dog uh, with a one arm and leg extended. So go ahead and set up on all fours on the power plate. And beginners could either use a yoga block or kind of like Lisa's got both feet are touching the ground. As you get more advanced, you'll bring them off the ground. And what we're gonna start with is an opposite leg and hip. Leave both hands on the ground, bring one hip up. There we go. We're gonna point this toe. And notice she's got uh, this arms fully extended, the opposite legs fully extended. She's breathing. What we're gonna focus on is hollowing out. So tuck your chin and then pull your tummy in towards the ceiling. There we go, so we're gonna hollowing out. Uh, the two things that we can do to add some intensity to this, if the power plate vibration isn't enough, we can <laughs> we can pick this back leg up. This one yeah, this. just a little bit, exactly. <laughs> uh, put it back down, that's no, one. you know, my hand went down in the front. So. Right, that's one option, so put it to the floor now, or we can use, go ahead and bring it up a little bit. We can use this yoga block too, if somebody struggles. You got that yoga block, it's a little uh, gentler. Go full extension again. Now try to bring your elbow to your knee without breaking here at your spine. So bring this knee in towards your elbow. Yep, 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 keep bringing your elbow in. There you go, yep, then back out. Good, good, good. This is a hard enough move just on the ground, uh, but now once you add the intensity of the power plate vibrating at multiple directions, uh, it really requires a ton of focus and ton of intensity to where, like I said, we don't have to do an hour-long yoga session. Uh, you can get the results here within just a few minutes. <laughs> Great job there, Lisa. One thing I really love about the personal power plate is that it's portable. You can take it with you wherever you go. You can even take it traveling. It's just under 40 pounds. You can lift it up. You can actually check it in at the airport too. I've traveled with this before. You can take it to hotel rooms. Uh, you can have it in your home. Um, if you're a trainer, personal trainer, you could take it to clients. You could bring it really wherever you want to go. Um, so that being said, that it's portable and you can take it anywhere, what are some of your favorite exercises that you like to do that you don't have to just do in the gym or if you're on the road or traveling or you know, just wanna use this at home, um, what would one of your you know, go-to exercises be on the personal? I think the simplest, most basic is just doing a full body squat. And I'll show you that. The squat's just bending at the knees, so I'll start with an example. First, most people need to learn to bend at their hips. And you can start by just warming up your back. This is gonna activate your glutes and hamstrings. Once you're capable of doing this and the, the uh, power plate really puts some intensity on your backside, that's gonna make it real easy to drop into your deep squat and utilize your glutes and hamstrings here. Most people aren't comfortable dropping down because they don't know how to use their glutes and hamstrings. Uh, their hips might not open up. But this is where too, uh, it's hard for me to coach people on their squat. Sometimes it takes months to correct it. We can just sit here in the bottom and just improve this positioning because of that multi-directional nature of the power plate. It's gonna teach your nervous system and force some adaptation that again, normally like I would have to coach a kid or a client for several weeks to do. This is gonna force that adaptation to happen in real time and we're talking days to weeks compared to uh, just months. Uh, so this is something you don't even need weight for. So really just using the power plate, you know, if you're putting this on 60 seconds on high, you guys are going to really feel it and you're going to get a great workout from that. So is that something where you might want to add weight to this or is, is this enough? You could and in professional settings they have uh, added load to this. For your personal power plates and what we do with clients, for some of our goals, like our first goal with them after a screening might be just to get them to do a squat. Uh, before we talk about doing weight, and this is where we can use this to cut that time in half, get them to do a squat to where uh, normally I wouldn't say trust them with weight, 
we can at least clean up their pattern, clean up the mechanics here with the power plate, and now we can trust them with, say, if it's a bar in their back or a kettlebell in the front, uh, but the power plate would be able to give them that comfortability to then be able to use a weight in the, in the long run. For more information, go to HealthyLivingWithLisaVarga.com.